Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial. I'm going to talk you guys through this entire look, how to get it from start to finish. This is definitely a full coverage look. It is something that I wanted to make for you guys for the holidays that you could wear um, for New Year's or I don't know, just any kind of party or event that you happen to be going to where you want to wear some glitter and you want to do a gold green smoky eye. I decided to pair it with a nude lip just because I feel like there's so much going on with the eyes. I didn't want to overwhelm it with a colorful lip. Nice highlight going. Really simple for the face. I just was kind of focusing on coverage. But yeah, let me know what you guys are doing for the New Year's down in the comments below. I am just going to be hanging out with family. I have some really cool ideas to of things that I want to make appetizers wise that are really bad for you but like they look so good. Probably order some pizza and wings and breadsticks. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you end up liking it. Subscribe to my channel for more videos guys. I got lots more videos coming for the new year. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial. I'm going to show you guys how to get this look. Alright, so the first thing that I like to do is actually my eyebrows. I just feel like Really weird without my eyebrows being done. Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil 03, which is a lot lighter than my natural brow hairs are, but that is why I like to use it, because it gives me more of a natural kind of look in the inner corner areas, and then also on the top edge of my eyebrow. And I just go ahead and fill in the whole thing though. Later, after I'm finished with all my makeup, I like to go through with a darker shade, which I'll show you guys to kind of fill that in more, make it more defined and so that it matches the rest of my eyebrow. I like to go in and do my eye makeup first and then all my foundations and stuff. So I don't fill them in completely. It's just kind of like a general shape. So this is the Stay Don't Stray in light medium. I cannot do my foundation first and then have my foundation on my eyelids and have that as a base. It just does not work at all because my eyelids are so greasy for some reason even though the rest of my face is really really dry. So the eyeshadows I find crease on me if I don't use a good primer like this one. Definitely helps to keep my eyeshadows on, makes them look more pigmented and I just absolutely need to have it. Most of the shadows I'll be using today are from this palette. It's the Too Faced Semi-Sweet Chocolate Bar. There's a lot of great browns in here and also really nice matte black that we'll be working with. With a Laura Mercier Finishing Ponytail Brush, it's just a basic blending brush, I'm going to pick up our first eyeshadow, which is this shade right here called Mousse. What you want to do is work this into the crease of your eye going from the inner corner first onto the eyelid then working your way back to the outer corner of the crease and then you want to kind of flick it outwards in a cat eye type shape towards your eyebrow and basically what this is going to do is just work as a nice transitional shade. I'm going to go into this eyeshadow called peanut butter. So what I like to do is just start this at the very outer corner of my eye, like right at my lower lash line, and then I will bring it up into the crease slightly and then work it inwards towards the middle of the eyelid. Just going to help add more dimension and color to the eye look so that way it's not so neutral and instead it's uh, more on the warmer side. So then I'm going to go in with this brush here from Royal and Lang Nickel. I really like this one because it doesn't pick up too much product. So that way I can get the dark shades on my eye without them completely taking over the entire eye look. That sometimes happens where the dark eyeshadows just start to get everywhere and then your look is just way too smoky. So I love using this brush when I'm going in with darker eyeshadows. So I'm going to pick up this dark brown here. That is called Truffled. And we're going to work this in the same kind of way that we did with peanut butter but we're just going to kind of keep it on the lower side. So again, you're going to start at your lash line and then work your way slightly up into the crease and then inwards towards the middle of the eye. And then I'm just going to kind of wing out with whatever is left on the brush to blend out the edges. I'm just going to run this brush through again. The very first one that we used just to make sure all the shadows are nice and blended. I have this guy from Milani Cosmetics. It's a Fierce Foil Eyeliner in Black Gold Foil. I'm actually going to use it as a base. It's sort of sticky, 
We're going to lay this down on the eyelid so that I can go over it with some green gold glitter. All I do with this is um, just use my finger to apply it because I feel like if I use an eyeshadow brush it's just, it applies a little bit too much and I don't want it to be like super super dark and I don't want it to feel really heavy. I just want it to work as a nice darker base for the glitter. So I'm just popping this onto the center of the eyelid first and then kind of working it outwards and inwards from there. I have these two glitter loose pigment eyeshadows from Shani Cosmetics. One is in 05, one is in 06. So one's just like slightly lighter than the other, but they're basically green with gold reflex in them. I'm going to start with the darker of the two first. I'm go ahead and shake it onto the lid so that I have more to work with. So there it is on the tip of my finger. Laura Mercier Eye Color Brush. I'm going to pick this up, tap off the excess, and slowly start working it onto my eyelid. You don't want to bring it too far up though. Just keep it on the eyelid and then we'll blend the edges out in a second. Then I'm going to pick up this lighter shade and put this more towards the inner corner of the eye. Same technique, you're just going to pick it up onto the brush, tap off the excess, and then slowly start patting it on. Back to the Too Faced palette, I'm going to go ahead and pick up this black eyeshadow here. Using a Luxie 239 Precision Shader Brush, I'm going to use this to help work this black eyeshadow into the outer corner of my eye to kind of darken things up even more. And then going back in with our very first eyeshadow or blending brush and blending out the edges up into the outer corner. A cosmetic superhero liner. I've been really liking this one lately. It has such a nice tip to it so it makes applying eyeliner, especially winged eyeliner, very easy to do and you can get a nice thin line with it which is what I usually do for the very inner corner of my eye and then I'll start to make it thicker as I go outwards to the outer corner and then I'll do the wing a lot more extended than usual since I did extend the eyeshadows out quite a bit. And I'm going to go ahead and pop on these eyelashes from the Lash Couture Foaming Collection by Kiss. They're in the style Midnight. I like these lashes because they're smaller than others from the collection. I really love Gala but like I said those are you know pretty long and I want to be able to see all these super cool eyeshadows that we put on, so I'm using shorter lashes that are still pretty and glam. Professional, this is the uh, one from Benefit Cosmetics. I love this one because I truly feel like it is minimizing my pores. Like, this is one of the only primers that does that for me, and it just makes my foundation look so nice and even and flawless. Today I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation in R330. I just like to pump it onto my finger first and then I go ahead and work it all over my face and I blend it in with a blending sponge. This one's from e.l.f. Cosmetics. I love it because it is so squishy. Check that guy out. I'm really not a fan of those blending sponges that are like really tough. I feel like it just doesn't blend in the foundation as well. So. What I just make sure to do is get a nice, thin, even layer of this on. I still want my face to look nice and natural and glowy. I've got this guy that I'm going to be trying today. It's from Pop Beauty. It's the Camouflage 101 Camo Effect Concealer Palette. I'm going to, oop, I'm going to pick this one right here. Using my finger, actually, I'm going to dot this wherever I have a problem area that I want to be covered. So any tiny little pimples that I have, I'm just going to dot this right on top, or any redness. Zoeva 234 Luxe Smoky Shader Brush. I'm just going to use this to kind of feather out the edges into the foundation, but I'm not going to actually touch what I already laid down on top of the pimples or the red spots, only around it so that I can feather it out and blend it in. Because once you start blending it out right on top of the pimple that you're trying to cover or the red spot then you'll start to see the red spot or pimple showing through again and then it's like you basically just did nothing so then I'm going to use a mixture of these two shades here I have the CC Plus Airbrush Perfecting Powder from It Cosmetics in light 
And then the Maybelline Fit Me Press and Poreless Powder in 330. I love both of these. They have great coverage, but I'm going to mix them to get the perfect shade for me. And all I'm going to do is use my Sigma Highlight Diffuser E31 brush. It's just like a flat top. And I'm going to pick up a mixture of those two powders and pat it over top of where I concealed so that it's not so shiny. A Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer in Neutral Medium. I'm going to use this to conceal my under eyes and also throw it on as like a highlight down the center of my nose or the bridge of my nose, forehead, cupid's bow, and chin. This also has really, really good coverage, but you have to be careful when you're applying it because it can easily get very heavy and cakey. So what I like to do is put it on the back of my hand like this, and then I use my fingertip to blend it where I need it. Before I blend that in, I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Palette in 20. It has four different shades in here that are all cream. I like to use this contour shade. And what we're going to do is work this on the outer corners of the face to kind of add some more dimension and shadow to the areas that I want to recede. So I like to bring it through the cheekbone areas, edges of the forehead, down my nose, and then also around the jawline area. I'm going to use my blending sponge from e.l.f. to blend this all in. I really like to set my under eyes with the Too Faced Peach Perfect Mattifying Loose Setting Powder. I think this one is really good. It helps to brighten. And then I also like that it's got like slightly kind of peachy shade to it. I'm just going to go through with a little blending brush and this It Cosmetics powder we used earlier in light. Just to really brighten up this area here. I just feel like I have really dark shadows there that I like to be covered that the Peach Perfect just doesn't cover for me. <laughs> it just does a good job of setting, but I feel like I need a little bit more. Makeup Geek Medium Skin Bronzer in Tawny. This is a great one. It's nice and matte and warm. I really liked this shade for like contouring, adding, adding shadow to the face, and then this one's more for adding color and bronze. So I'm gonna go ahead and use one of my favorite brushes to do this. It's the e.l.f. Flawless Face Brush. Since I tried very hard to cover my spots that I had, I'm not going to do too much of a blending kind of circular motions. Instead, I'm going to go for more padding type motions. One thing I always do is apply whatever bronzer I used on my face to the under part of my eye here because then I feel like it brings the whole look together and makes sure that everything kind of matches nicely. So we're going to just use this tiny little Royal and Lang Nickel, Lang Nickel brush to apply it all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner. And I do like to blend this down quite a bit. Pick up now this dark brown truffled, keeping this closer to that lash line. Okay, so we're gonna try out this highlighter from Glossier, 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 Glossier. It's in Quartz. It's called Dew Effect Highlighter. So I think I used this once a while back. I can't remember if I liked it or not. We're going to go ahead and put it onto our fingertips first and then work it onto the high points of the face to add some nice highlight. That's actually really nice. I feel like I'm able to get a good glow with it. I'm going to intensify this even more though with the Ofra Cosmetics Highlighter in Rodeo Drive. So this is such a beautiful kind of golden champagne. But I'm only going to put this on the high points of my cheekbones, this highlight right here because I don't want too much glow all over. I just mainly want the brightest part to be the top of the cheekbone area. I'm going to go ahead and pick up this beautiful gold called Caramel from the center of the lower lash line towards the inner corner. Then I'm going to pick up Butter Pecan. It's just a little bit lighter. And we're going to work this in the inner corner of the eye. A Cosmetics Mascara. This is the Superhero one. This is my favorite mascara right now. I'm really liking it because the formula is so black and dark that it helps my natural lashes to blend in perfectly with the falsies. Like, you know how sometimes there are those gaps that you can clearly see? 
this, especially in person, this completely gets rid of that. And so I love using it. It's very quick and easy to use also because the formula is very wet. For my lower lashes though, I can't use that mascara. I have to use this. It's from Honest Beauty. It's called the Truly Lush Mascara. This is the only one that ever works for my lower lashes. It comes with a primer side. It's just like a white mascara that you put on first. And in my opinion, I feel like it really helps the uh, mascara to hold on better so that it doesn't transfer onto my under eye throughout the day. So my card just uh, ran out of space and I was not aware of this. I One thing I need to buy is a monitor so that I can actually see what I'm even doing. Right now I'm using a uh, Sony A6000 and I love this camera but like the screen doesn't flip so I have no idea if I'm ever in frame. <laughs> I have to keep going back to check and then um, I, I can't hear if it stops recording. So I apologize guys. I'm going to go ahead and show you what I did for my lips. I'm going to take it off and redo it. But for the eyebrows, I don't want to do my eyebrows again. It's just, it's too difficult. Um, I use the Ofra Semi-Permanent Waterproof Eyebrow Gel in dark brown. This is what it looks like. And then I just use a very tiny angle brush. This is by Tanya Crooks. It's called the Brow Gal. So it's just very, very thin. And it just works perfectly for getting your eyebrow shape. What I like to do is pick up a tiny little bit of it, not too much because it's seriously so pigmented. And I'll start on the outer corners here and then I'll slowly start working it towards the inner corner as there's like not much left on the brush so that way the darkest part of the brow is in the outer corner and then it gets lighter towards the inner corner. Alright so the first thing that I did was I used the uh, Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick in Stay Neutral. Love this so much. They have a great range of colors. They just came out with some new ones too. But this is a good neutral shade. It's not too warm. It's not too cool. It's just right in between. And I like the fact that you can wear these for a very long time. You can eat with it, you can drink with it, and it stays on very, very well. It's also extremely pigmented and really easy to apply. This applicator is just basically everything right here. And then once it's dried down, I use the Lip Fusion Infatuation Gloss. This is in the flesh, and it just looks like this. It's pretty highly pigmented. It's a little bit more on the pink side though. Um, I only put it in the center of both the top and bottom lip and then I used my finger to kind of blot it out a bit. But I just felt like this was a little too neutral and too matte. I wanted something glossy. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and change and fix up my hair a little bit and I will be right back. All right guys, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up down below. And also let me know what you guys wanna see for the new year because I do plan on filming a lot more, a lot more than I did this year. I wanna just like try and stick to a schedule. I'm thinking Monday, Wednesday, Friday, um, and actually doing that for the entire year. That's like my new year's resolution is to upload more for you guys. So please let me know down in the comments what you guys even wanna see. Um, literally anything that comes to mind that you'd like me to film, I will definitely read through the comments, make little, make like a list, make notes on what you guys want to see. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel for more. And also in the comments, let me know what your New Year's resolutions are. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.